Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly scopes. Actually this week I'll be doing a bi-weekly reading because the next days will be a very crazy busy time for me and I want to keep things updated as possible here in the channel. And so as well I'll be using a Celtic cross reading this time to give a little bit more uh, information about the energies that might be surrounding you for these days. As always, keep in mind this is just a general reading. Take what it feels right and with what resonates with your life experiences at the moment. And if you would like a private reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. And so, you begin this time really indecisive, really not sure what to do, where to go, and you are protecting your heart, you are guarding your space of emotional awareness. And this is what creating the difficulty maybe in choosing because you are putting yourself um, in, a, in a position where you cannot see, you cannot see the facts um, in front of you, you cannot see these two situations, two choices, two individuals, two relationships, two ideas, two ways in a clear way because there's something missing, some piece of information that you don't yet allow yourself to see. This could be very related to relationships and between wanting to move, wanting to act, wanting to initiate, wanting to be more impulsive and passionate, in between being more careful, more in the feeling realm, more passive and letting things happen at their own pace. And so there's this, there's standstill, and you are being crossed here by the Queen of Wands, which can be you, because you are a fire sign, or just someone prominent in your life with these traits. Which is interesting is, in the outcome position of the spread, you also have the King. So, it's really, it's really interesting that you are um, probably very uh, determined to Put, put your masculine and your feminine um, energies in a dance where they complement each other instead of fighting each other in this duality, in this two different aspected way. And if this is a relationship, if this is you and another individual happening here, this dynamic of this relationship, it's very promising, but it will grow and it will become the, the, to the best possible promise uh, to the best outcome uh, once you decide to cut the ties uh, from the past and let things die so they can be reborn in the right committed way what I mean is possible that, that you still have attachments to past situations either from a different relationship a different person or memories surrounding this individual that still haunts you in some way and enables you to have clarity to make a, a assertive decision and so you are asked to really follow the path of change and transformation to let yourself be emerged by the power of your feelings not fighting it not resisting it but going the direction of change and transformation knowing that the new beginning is really out there and very promising and shining for you. You have the Ace of Cups as your advice, the biggest advice, the direction, the highest vibrational direction you should uh, go towards this time. And then you have the star in the future position and the position of yourself, you have the death card. So it's like, let this love, let this new beginning, let this, let this new promise of inner happiness and inner peace be drawn to you in your way with the less possible resistance. Because the star here in the middle is really telling that you are walking in the direction of the star, of the hope, of the beauty, of the universal conspiration to make this love possible, to make this beautiful situation possible. If you get into your horse, get into your space of allowing the change to happen and to keep the faith and um, the balance within yourself as well high. 
So it's like you have this new beginning, this new offer from God, from universe, from life, from whatever you want to believe, from your, it's like a reward from your own self um, understanding of your heart and how your emotional uh, body connects with you and speaks to you that allows this reward of new love, this reward of new um, spiritual bliss to come to you and flow through you in a very harmonious, peaceful, shining way, telling you that even if you don't have any relationship, even if you don't have anybody right now in your life, it's not just about relationship, it's about feeling the love in you, feeling and flowing the love all around you, being a bearer of love, having this intuitive ability to nurture others with your heart, despite the fact that you are or not in a love relationship one-to-one. -one. We always have love to give, and when the universe offers us, offer us love, it can be in any shape or form. It doesn't have to be just in the form of another human being. It could be in the form of any anything that comes to come to us that are real um, match and blend and merge its power with our hearts with our inner self and promotes more peace more spiritual uh, understanding growth and healing so you are in a very beautiful healing time as well to heal old relationships to heal yourself emotionally if you allow really the change to happen so you will be very intense You'll be, you'll, your personality, your projection, the way you will feel, the way you will speak, the way you will act, it will be very dominant and very, um, attractive, alluring, enigmatic, and, and, and alluring to others because you are feeling, you are walking in this direction of re-empowerment of yourself through this emotional awakening, through this emotional understanding of who you are to the forever and committing yourself to this new promise of the dawn coming right there and the environment around you is also very interesting because you have the ace uh, sorry the eight of wands and then you have the three of cups in the position of your hopes and fears and so there's a lot of uh, movement as well in your environment you are Surrounded a lot of, surrounded by a lot of people, by a lot of information, by a lot of celebrations probably, by people wanting to be with you, wanting to share their love with you, wanting to celebrate life with you. That's why I was telling you it's not only about love in form of one relationship, which, which can be, but it's also about the love you find, the, the ability to celebrate life either if it's sunny or raining, if, even if the stars are uh, showing in the sky or not, being able to celebrate life and the existence of life itself and um, being so grateful for your contribution and participation in it. So people around you, in the environment around you is very, very bubbly, very outgoing, very happy, very enthusiastic, very wanting to draw you to celebrations and partying and drinking and just having fun. There's a lot of uh, possibilities that you can find love, that you can find this new beginning that I'm talking about in a social event or in an event that requires, um, that is, requires, um, this, this idea of embracement of other people around you sharing, celebrating something, communicating something from their hearts and toasting to that. So it's a very interesting week for you, Sagittarius, that the only thing is probably will awaken this sense and this need from you to choose ways to decide to cut, to choose to cut a tie from the past in order to receive this new one or implement situations from before into the present without being uh, stuck on them and so taking the blindfold so that you can see clear the picture around you and decide because the queen crossing you and the king in the outcome really talk about this match to match it's this couple that it's so energetic so full of stamina sexual power passion creativity fun um, there are source of inspiration for others. They are independent and together they become even more free. 
So even, and again, if this is not about the relationship, it's about you yourself, your masculine and your feminine energy is wanting to join together inside of you in a harmonious, balanced way. So you can have the both of best worlds. So you can feel more whole and at the same time more free and more able to be dynamic, to trust yourself, to be self-confident, self-reliant, magnanimous, shining your light, shining your creativity out there. This is a very creative as well, inspiring time. You can be celebrating your independent endeavors, your creative endeavors. You can be uh, communicating, traveling to speak up about these ideas. Anything that is happening is protected. It's really protected with these two cards together. It's protected to the sense of whatever you are doing, whatever you decide to do once you face this first standstill with the Two of Swords, once you take the blindfold, once you start seeing and realizing, once you start trusting your heart because the swords are protecting it, guarding it, because they are scared. Once you let your swords down and you open your heart space to what's around you, you will see the promises going on at a very beautiful way and you will change and people will be very drawn to your passionate new awakened side that it's so intense, so alluring, so beautiful. So Sagittarius, it's a very interesting week. I hope you have a great one. Thank you for listening, liking, subscribing and hopefully we'll see each other next one.